Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, the old school picker. I had about 20 orders going out, I think, this weekend. So another good weekend, solid weekend of sales. Sold some on the Media Vault account, sold some on the main account, and also had some Macari sales. So let's see what I sold. <music> Right, first order I got going out is a pretty special order. Um, I think this was actually on the Media Vault page, but either way, I sent an offer out to a liker. Of course, you cannot see who it is that likes your items. So I'm just sending offers out. I don't know if they're viewers, friends, family, what they are. I'm just sending offers out. I had this book, I think, listed for Grant Takes Command by Bruce Canton. I think I had it listed for $10 plus shipping. I sent a best offer, I think, out for $7.95. My cousin Randall messages me on Facebook and says, Hey, I'm the guy that you sent the offer to. I want the book if you can hand deliver it. So I removed it from Facebook. I'll take it to him. He lives in the next town. He actually works in the next town south of me. I usually go to that town every few months or so once a month something like that so i told him the next time i was down there i would bring him the book and he said i'll buy you lunch if you'll do that and i was like you know what so randall i'm just going to give you the book brother if you'll buy my lunch i'll hand deliver the book to you it's been a long time since i've seen him um so yeah pretty cool uh thank you randall i appreciate it he actually has a podcast and i'll try to link it above and below that he does with a group of friends uh sports park podcast i've watched it several times he is on youtube and facebook as well river city sports i believe is the name of it i'll have to verify that but i will link it down below if you're local to the tennessee southeast area definitely check it out they talk a lot of local sports but they also talk everything from ufc to wrestling to pro sports college sports everything if it's sports they talk about it so go check him out tell him osp sent you if you're interested in that but thanks again randall and can't wait to meet up to have lunch so randall made sure he told me to make sure that i give him a honk so randall here's for you buddy thank you again start real quick with the momentum board give you an update there's my listings for last week i ended the week for listed 90 items for 1771 and I ended the month for with 535 listings for six thousand six hundred and eighty five dollars so once again I passed my goal of five thousand dollars so another success successful challenge and that board is just to help keep me motivated to help keep me because I hate coming out here and putting zeros up but I do, I had one, two, three, four, five, nine zeros, but now I did take the weekends off. So that was seven of them right there. So I only had two zeros Monday through Friday for the whole month. So that was good. We'll start a new challenge in the next video. I'll probably go ahead and start it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, but I'll let you know because I'm not real sure what I'll do yet, but I'll let you know in the next video. But let's go ahead and pull the orders. I have four Macari orders going out. So I'm once again excited about that. Anytime I can sell something on Macari, I'm happy about. I don't put a whole lot of time and effort into Macari. And the stuff I'm selling on Macari has been mostly gave to me or it's stuff out of my own closet. So, or my wife's closet. So yes, Macari is very successful for me because whatever I make is pretty much all profit. First order going out is this Suzer, Susan Graver Passport Layering Top. And I'll put the pictures above so you can see them. Uh, nothing in this. It sold for $12 free shipping. Next order I had going out was this Duluth button-up shirt. Uh, Ladies Large Duluth. Duluth is a very good brand. It, it sells pretty quick. Usually the men's shirts tend to sell better, I believe, than the women's. But anyways... This was just something I had. It sold for $12 free shipping. Next order I had going out was this men's. I'm having to look at my computer. American Eagle New with Tags men's large sweater. It sold for $13 
free shipping. I won't make a ton on it because it's going priority because it weighs about a pound and a half. But it gets it going. And the last order I had going out on Macari was this Christmas purse with matching wallet. Very cute. Uh, very good shape. It looked new to me, but I don't know. I didn't list it as new. But anyways, it sold for $14 free shipping. So that's the Macari orders. Now we'll pull the Media Vault page. I think I had four orders on it as well. So let's see what we sold. All right. I listed a lot of video games this weekend, or not a lot, but several video games this weekend on the Media Vault account. Uh, a lot of cheaper, lower dollar video games. It came, uh, I think most of them that I sold came from the 411 sale that I bought the Xbox for $30 plus the games. I sold the Xbox uh, in the last video for $41. So all these games are pure profit. All right, the first one I had going out was Grand Theft Auto 4. And hopefully you can see this. And it sold for $2.95 plus shipping. The next one I had going out was Grand Theft Auto 5. And this one is the install disc only. Grand Theft Auto 5 for the 360 has a play disc and an install disc. This was just the installed disc. I listed it this weekend for really, really cheap, but it sold $2.95 plus shipping. All right, the next order I had going out, where is it? Right there. Guitar Hero 5 for the Xbox 360 game manual and case, and it sold for $9.95 plus shipping. So pretty good little game there. And the last order I had going out was the Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Xbox 360. And this was complete with the game case manual. And Grand Theft Auto usually comes with a map. So if you put complete, make sure that the map is included. I had the map as well. And it sold for $6.95 plus shipping. So that's my orders for the Media Vault. Now let's pull the orders for the main account. All right. Kind of an up and down weekend this weekend on the main account. Um, Friday was really good. Saturday, eh. And Sunday so far, eh. It is early. It's only 4 o'clock Sunday evening, so I may have some more sales between now and tomorrow when I go to the post office. But for right now, I have 13 orders going out, which is not bad by no means. And a pretty good mixture. Some higher dollar stuff mixed in with some lower dollar stuff. But that's how it goes sometimes on eBay. But the first one I had going out, it's a pretty decent one, especially since I just listed it a week or so ago. I have to get to it. I just recently moved all this stuff around. It's this movie poster puzzle, and I usually will not pick up puzzles, pre-owned puzzles. I'll only pick them up if they're new. Well, I changed the rule on this one because it was a pretty nice, neat one. It's only 300 pieces, and it's kind of like a floor puzzle. It's kind of like a floor puzzle almost. The pieces are pretty big, so it wasn't hard to count at all. Picked it up at the Goodwill, but I cannot remember how much I paid for it. It seems like I paid $3.99 for it. It was, it was either $3.99 or less. But I want to say it was $3.99. I just picked it up maybe a month ago or something. And I uh, counted the pieces. It was all there. And it sold for $21.95 plus shipping. So not a bad little sale. And the box was in very good shape. And it has got the uh, X-rated cover on it. Or however you want to say that. The band cover on it. So, I don't know. Pretty neat. $21.95 plus shipping. But I usually will not buy pre-owned puzzles. But saying all that, during the shutdown, when everything was shut down, I had a bunch of puzzles in my inventory sealed. And I had had them forever. And as soon as that lockdown and shutdown started, I sold puzzles like that. I don't think I have any puzzles left. Oh, well, I'll take that back. I do have one because I see it. But yeah, puzzles can be good. Especially in the wintertime. But I don't recommend buying pre-owned puzzle all right next order i had going out was a license plate and i just watched these guys lose 
but it's the Tennessee Titans license plate. It is brand new sealed. Make sure it is the right one. Yes. And I picked this up, uh, picked a bunch of license plates up at a thrift store not too long ago. I think I paid a dollar fifty for most of them. That some were a dollar and some were a dollar fifty. Not sure on this one, probably a dollar fifty. But anyways, it sold for three fifty plus shipping. I took a best offer on it. All right, next order I had going out. I've had these things forever, so I was so glad when somebody sent an offer on them. I was like, yes, I don't even care what the offer is. I'm taking it. But it's this Bible on cassettes. It's just kind of a generic, maybe a church or something has made them, but it's not produ produced by a big company or anything like that. Sow the seed. I have no idea. But it's the Bible on tape. Just the New Testament, King James Version only. I think these came out of a storage unit a long, long time ago. So I have pennies in them. They sold for $2.25 plus shipping. Like I said, I was taking whatever offer that it was. All right. I told you the other day that I listed the power supply for the Xbox 360 separate. Well, it sold this weekend. Um, full price of $9.95 plus shipping. A lot of times if you break these systems up and sell them individually pieces the controllers, the cords, and all that, you'll get a little bit better money. I knew I paid a little too much for the Xbox 360 that I picked up on the 411 yard sale. I'm still going to make good money on it because I got one game that's worth $40, $40, $45. So I broke it up to get top dollar out of the system, and the cords sold for $9.95 plus shipping. And it's just the power supply. It's not the AV cord. All right. Next order I had going out was one of these cars. I kind of got them labeled, but a lot of times the bubble wrap gets shifted around and the labeling don't work out too well. So I'm looking for Ford Mustang. I believe that's it right there. Ford Mustang Mach 1. And it is made by Ertl. Ford Mustang Mach 1, made by Ertl. It's kind of this burgundy color. And it's pretty neat because, and I didn't even realize it at first, but it's a bank. That right, that key goes to that bank right there. And you put your money in right there. It won't hold but three or four coins, <laughs> but it is a bank. Uh, I could not find one exactly like this on eBay. So I just kind of listed it. You know, kind of looked at some that was kind of similar to that and listed it. But it's not one of the great ones. Uh, the doors and stuff don't open. The hood, I don't think, open. The trunk. So nothing opened on it. So it's kind of one of the cheaper, lower dollar ones. But it still sold for $11.95 plus shipping. And that came from the 411 sale as well as part of the big bundle. I've made so much money on these. And I still got... I think I still have three, maybe four cars to list from this. But I will list them this week. All right, next order I have going out. And I've had this forever. I've had it so long that I don't even remember where it's at. And I found it. It is this John Deere drill. This little John Deere toy. I think it's made by Ertl. It is. Ertl puts out some pretty decent toys. John Deere, Ertl, drill, screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. It works. I've had that thing forever. I think I bought it on the 127 yard sale, 2019. But I only paid a dollar for it. How can you pass anything up like that? John Deere that has toy. If it has, if it's a toy with John Deere on it for a buck, I'm probably taking a chance on it. So it sold for... $12.95 plus shipping. My next sale was probably, definitely, my best sale of the weekend. It's a pretty good one. I was super excited when I found this car. Uh, these cars have been selling really well for me. But this one was really, really nice. If it hasn't had issues, it would have been even nicer. You can see right there, it is missing the bumper. But it's the Chevy Nova. Uh, it's made by Ertl as well. 66, I believe, Chevy Nova. 
American Muscle. Uh, I believe, yes, the hood opened on it. It's one of the nicer ones. Doors open. I don't think the trunk opened. Um, but very, very nice. Very clean. It does have some stuff right there. I may try to get. I didn't notice that. I may try to clean that up a little more before I ship it out. But super awesome car. Um, it came in the bulk deal of how much it how many ever cars i got 17 cars for 25 dollars or something like that and it sold for 49.95 plus shipping so those cars it was a great great deal next order i had going out was a book i've had this book forever as well right a passage yes right there it is good grief i'm blind right a passage i who knows where I got this book or what I paid. It came in a bulk deal. I bought a bunch of those sci-fi books, but I can't remember how many they were or how many I paid or how much I paid. But anyways, this book sold for $5.95 plus shipping. Sci-fi books usually do well. If I had it to do over, I would have lauded them up and sold it as one lot and been done with it, but I didn't. Next order I had going out. I've had this for a little while too. It's one of these... I've actually got two of these. It's this Mark Green, whoever that is. Uh, NASCAR, but yeah, I actually got two of them. Mark Green, NASCAR, Timberwolf is the sponsor on it. Pretty cool. Pretty good size, too. And if you're asking how in the world I'm going to ship it, I'm going to find a box big enough, and I'm just going to sandwich the box together not even open the box or anything and just slide it in there and ship it like that tape up the ends and ship it flat like that that sold for i took the best offer on it for 12 dollars plus shipping all right next order i had going out uh another 411 sale uh yeah i didn't even realize it but i done good on the 411 i really did and had a great time so that was just kind of a bonus deal I picked up some Xbox One controllers. I picked up three of them for $15, $5 each. And this one was the first one I've sold. And it's a generic brand, I believe, Power A. But it still sold for $17.95 plus shipping. So five into 18, not horrible if you're already there. All right, it's that time. Yeah, that's right, it's makeup time. So had four sales of makeup this weekend. So I'll run through them really, really quick. First one was Essie Gel Culture Nail Polish, a lot of two, and it is number 630 uh, Moments to Miseries. Yeah, I don't know. 995 plus uh, free shipping, excuse me. 995 free shipping. The next one I sold was Maybelline Superstay Ink Liquid Lipstick. And it is number 75 Fighter. And it sold for $6.95 free shipping. The next one I had was this Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator. And it is number 610 Dark Brown. And it sold for $6.95 free shipping. And the last one was Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish. And it is number 253 Pedal to the Metal. And it sold for $4.95 free shipping. And the makeup, I would have had $0.70 cents per piece in, if you're new to the channel. I bought basically a palette of makeup. It wasn't hardly a palette. It was two big banana boxes, I believe is what they were, tomato boxes or something. Big boxes of makeup. So I had around $0.70 cents a piece in. I do free shipping on all the makeup. And I've done fairly well with it. Uh... This is actually the slowest weekend I've had on it since I've had it, but that's okay. So four sales of makeup, glad to get them going. All right, thank you guys so very much for watching. I have a lot of orders to pack up, 13, 17, 21, I think, right now. And like I said, it is early, so I may have a few more come in. Shannon has an MRI tomorrow, so keep her in your prayers. By the time you see this, it'll probably already be over. If you have not already, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing it's all free also ring that notification bell to receive all notifications for when i upload a video old school picker out thank you guys have a great day.